Hi, today I'm going to talk about human empathy and the two parts, namely cognitive empathy and affective empathy, and how you can understand them and how you can use them as a hiring manager in a relationship or with your friends to understand if a person is being authentic or if the person is lying or deceiving you or have other mental issues. The explanations and facts about human empathy are still not proven in humans. What I mean by that is that even though we can find mirror neurons in other animals, we haven't really found them in human brains as of yet. There's also still a debate if human empathy is only cognitive empathy or affective empathy, or if it also includes the uh, dorsal lateral prefrontal cortex that inhibits your expression of your emotions. That's still debated. So you shouldn't take empathy as something very solid in science, but something to understand more from a brain hemisphere perspective. Human empathy is found in both hemispheres of the brain. That means that you have empathy in your left hemisphere and you have empathy in your right hemisphere. In your right hemisphere, you have true affective empathy. In your left hemisphere, you have cognitive empathy. But to understand it and how it sort of expresses itself in humans, you need to understand that your brain halves are connected to the opposite side of the human body, including your face. So for example, cognitive empathy is connected to your left brain. It copies other people's muscle expressions around their mouths, which means that through your right eye, you will be watching the other person's mouth movements and copying those. That's understanding and identifying another person's emotion consciously, because the left side of your brain is more conscious. It's aware. You're aware when you think about, I see things. So that's what you see when, for example, psychopaths that have a damaged right hemisphere, they are copying other people's emotions. And they are not copying uh, other people's emotions more than the mu muscles around, surrounding the mouth. Now, true affective empathy is located in your right hemisphere. And it's your left eye watching for muscle movements around the other person's eyes. The difference between cognitive empathy and affective true empathy is that the right side of the brain is unconscious, which states that the mirror neurons, which is not proven yet to exist in humans, mimic rather than copy the other person's eye muscles in the face. So what happens is that when you subconsciously mimic your eye muscles to match with the other person's eye muscles, your eye muscles are then connected through neurons and nerves to your brain and sends a signal to your limbic system, which is your emotional system, to sort of express the same emotion that the other person is having. True empathy is not something that you can deliberately and consciously create. You can only do that with cognitive empathy in that you can observe consciously and then just simply copy that, which psychopaths do and narcissists. Other people that still have an intact and balanced right hemisphere will subconsciously start to cry when another person cries. So true empathy works in a way that it mimics another person's eye muscles, which means that if another person is angry and you have high true empathy, you will also get angry. If another person is crying, you will feel the urge to cry as well. The only thing that inhibits that is your dorsal lateral prefrontal cortex, which gives you the ability to inhibit the expression of that emotion. As you can see, empathy is not mirror, merely mirror neurons as they are also debating. It's also if you can control the expression of the emotion, for example, if you see another person is angry with your subconscious right hemisphere when you're looking at the other person's eye muscles, 
will you then be able with the dorsal lateral prefrontal cortexes to inhibit your expression and mimicry of that angry expression. So here's a tip when it comes to seeing if someone is lying. Now the right hemisphere of the brain is connected to the left face and the right hemisphere is authentic, honest and sincere. And it's also subconscious, which means that you can't really control it. So since the left hemisphere contains your mental model of the world and it knows nothing else but the mental model of its world, it will lie and control things to, in order for other people to admit and sort of merge with their mental model of the world. That means that it's also conscious and it's controlling. So anything that appears on the right side of the face is controlled and conscious. That's why you can see half a smile. So many a times, like Paul Ekman says, that a half smile like this is contemptuous. But it also means that this happens on the left side, which is an authentic smile. And here's what I'm controlling. I'm hiding the authentic smile, which means that I might be contemptuous. But the honest and true emotion is that I'm actually happy. If you get crow's feet in the corner of the eye, that means it's an authentic smile. Fake smiles or social smiles are only muscle movements around the mouth. If you want to know more about personalities, watch this video.